The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Day of Days. And hollow my Sabbaths, and they shall be a sign between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. Ezekiel 20, verse 20. The Sabbath should be made so interesting to our families that his weekly return will be held with joy. The Sabbath school and the meeting for worship occupy only a part of the Sabbath. The portion remaining to the family may be made the most sacred and precious season of all the Sabbath hours. In the minds of the children, the very thought of the Sabbath should be bound up with the beauty of natural things. Happy the father and mother who can teach their children God's written word with illustrations from the open pages of the Book of Nature. Who can gather under the green trees in the fresh, pure air to study the word and to sing the praise of the Father above? In pleasant weather, let parents walk with their children in the fields and groves. Amid the beautiful things of nature, tell them the reason for the institution of the Sabbath. Describe to them God's great work of creation. Tell them that when the earth came from his hand, it was holy and beautiful. Every flower, every shrub, every tree answer the purpose of its creator. Show that it was sin which marred God's perfect work, that thorns and thistles, sorrow and pain and death are the result of disobedience to God. Bid them see how the earth, though marred with the curse of sin, still reveals God's goodness. If we can cultivate within us a beauty of soul corresponding to the beauty of nature around us, there will be a blending of the divine and human agencies. As the sun goes down, let the voice of prayer and the hymn of praise mark the close of the sacred hours and invite God's presence through the cares of the week of labor. Thus parents can make the Sabbath, as it should be, the most joyful day of the week. They can lead their children to regard it as a delight, the day of days, the holy of the Lord, honorable 